Celebrities we lost in the last few days. Charlotte Valandre. Charlotte Valandre was a French actress and writer who passed away on July 13, 2022. She died of HIV and a heart transplant complication. She was 53 years old. After her early success, many people thought that she would become a big star, but her career stayed low key until her autobiography came out in 2005. She is best known for Orlando, Red Kiss, and Cordian Sun, Judge and Cop. At the 36th Berlin International Film Festival, she won the Silver Bear for Best Actress. Charlotte Valandre survived by her daughter Tara Lacan. Richard Anderson, June 14, 1977 to July 13, 2022. Richard Anderson was a cornerback for American football who played in the National Football League for 2 years. From 2000 to 2001, he played for the Carolina Panthers. Anderson died from prostate cancer on July 13, 2022, when he was 45 years old. Anderson played in 12 games in his first NFL season and had 21 tackles. At the end of 2001 season, Gary Moller, January 26, 1941 to July 11, 2022. Gary Oscar Muller was a famous American football coach. Gary Muller passed away due to unspecified causes on July 11th, 2022, when he was 81 years old. From 1990 to 1994, he was the head coach at the University of Michigan. During his 5 years at Michigan, he won 44 games, lost 13 and tied 3 games. This gave him a 758 winning percentage. In the Big 10 Conference, his team won 30 games, lost 8 and tied for 2 for a 775 winning percentage. Mola is survived by his wife Anne and their daughters Susan, Amy and Molly. Susanna Dosamontes, January 1948 to the 2nd of July 2022. Susanna Dosamontes was a well-known actress in Mexico. Pancreatic cancer was the cause of death for Dosamontes. She died on July 2nd, 2022 at the age of 74. She is best known for her roles in the movie Rio Lobo, Day of the Assassin and Hitman, as well as the popular telenovelas Because of her performance in the telenovela Morir para Vivir, she was awarded the title of Best Antagonist Actress in 1990. She is survived by her children Paulina and Enrique and her husband. Brian Jackson Osmond Jackson was a British actor who became famous for his role as the man from Del Monte in advertisements throughout the 1980s. On July 2nd, 2022, Jackson succumbed to his battle with cancer at the age of 91. He appeared frequently on both television and BBC radio dramas. Jackson was exclusively hired globally as the man from Del Monte for a number of years, during which he filmed 25 ads that were screened in 32 countries. James Van Pelt. Jim Van was an American quarterback who played in the Canadian Football League for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. He was 86 years old when he died on July 2nd, 2022. His cause of death is yet to be made public. From 1995 to 1957, he played college football for the Michigan Wolverines. In 1958 and 1959, when he played in the CFL, he led the Blue Bombers to back-to-back Grey Cup titles. Jim is survived by his two children, Jeffrey Van Pelt and Catherine. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell button if you want to keep watching our videos.